How are we doing everyone? Mitch here with another Logic Pro 10 tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about the new drummer feature. So let's dive right in. We have a modern rock guitar here sitting in front of us. This is going to be from the Loops Library and this is how it's going to sound. So you kind of have a feel for what's going on here. So we're going to add a drummer to this, right? So we're going to add a new track. And there's a drummer plugin already created for us, or a drummer track that we can select. And it will create a couple regions for us right off the bat. The thing to note, firstly, is that these regions are going to be separate. You change the setting in one, it changes only that region and not the other. When you change a setting, it will live update the audio right, that is being played by that instrument. So as you can see, if I change a setting, it will automatically change what is being shown in the region, which is pretty powerful, right? So there's a lot of things we can do. I am going to change this and I'm going to overlay this on our guitar so that we can kind of get the right setup going here and that's how I want it to look. Perfect. So let's get into this interface a little bit. For this track we can have different drummers, right? So I'm going to have select Kyle, but this is going to be the normal view. We can select whoever we want. This is in the rock group. We have alternative songwriter and R&B as well. In each one of these, there's a few drummers that we can select, depending on what kind of music, right? So, so this, this is going to be more rock. I'm going to stick with Kyle, since he's a solid drummer, as you'll see, which is pretty cool. He's going to be playing the SoCal kit, and we'll get into that a little bit later. But as you can see, these presets, as I change these presets, it'll live update whatever is selected. And right now, as you can see, all of them are selected. If I change one, obviously that one will change. So very simple and easy to understand in that regard. Uh, so let's look at this 2D grid here. You can see that there's soft and loud and simple and complex. This is pretty self-explanatory, but I kind of want to dive in here a little bit more. Uh, let's just kind of see what these do. So we're going to check out loud. Soft. Simple and complex. And you can see the live update, obviously, like I've been saying, as you play it, which is very nice. In this next section, we can select the particular parts of the drum set that we want to focus on. We can select our toms, we can select our hi-hat, we can select our normal cymbals, and we can have presets for both the cymbals or whatever we have the focus on, right? And then also the kick and snare. We can also select it to follow a particular track. Right now, I just have the IG Rock Guitar, so uh, that's all that's being shown. So that's what it's going to default to. You can also select the tambourine, shaker, or clap if you want to. And you can have some presets and some settings for that as well. You can change how many fills. You can change the amount of swing on your track. And if you go into details, there's a few more things that you can edit in there. So, pretty powerful interface, just this right here alone, right? So, we're going to go into this track and find particular, we're going to find a particular beat that will match the guitar that we have underneath it, right? So. Um, I'm going to just kind of go through this and uh, hopefully you'll get a feel for how we can put a drummer on top of our tracks. Alright, that I like. Let's go into the next section. I'm changing the wrong section. I totally would do that, right? All right, let's see how the transition sounds. That I like, so let's go into the next section. I want to focus here more on the snare and the hi-hat.
All right, so I like the sound of that. So you can see the power of the drummer, right? It abstracts the user away from the individual hits that you would have to be editing if you were using something like Ultra Beat Sequencer, right? So there's a lot of power in this, and it's going to streamline your music creation. And that's what the new thing here is in Logic Pro X. So the next thing I want to look at here is the actual kit that we're using, right? So Kyle is going to be using the SoCal kit. We can open up the kit from here. Just click that, sorry. Um, we can also get to it through our channel strip, um, and it's just going to be the drummer kit. It's going to be basically what's going on here is this is going to be an instrument, so that's why it's located here on the input. Um, and then uh, this is what it looks like, right? So we can go in and select different elements, and we can change what, what we want, right? So the snare and the kick are going to be what uh, we can change. The cymbals, toms, and hi-hat, uh, we can just edit the settings. So we can do all kinds of stuff with this. Um, also, finally, it integrates very well with our smart controls. So as you can see, the kick, snare, tom, hi-hat symbols, and just percussion in general are going to be linked to particular uh, you know, knobs in this view. And this is controlling the volume of those particular elements. So if I like, you know, check out this section. We have on and off, we can control the volume, compression of the entire track, and effects as well. So there's a lot we can do here, and it integrates really well with smart controls, which is what we want to keep using, right, so that we can find an easy, great mix. Um, and that's what it's all about, right? So hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any more questions or comments, uh, hit me up in one message or just in the comments below. And uh, also take that survey to choose my next tutorial. And, uh, you know, comment, rate, subscribe like freaking best. I'll be seeing you all very soon. Have a great day.